Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Pami and on here I'm reviewing all things clean beauty. So thank you so so much for tuning in with me today. Now in today's video I am going to be reviewing the Swedish clean beauty brand Idan Minerals. This Swedish beauty brand does not just carry makeup, they're also carrying skincare, they have a wide range of body products and also nail polish. So they do have a lot of stuff a lot of products and some very, very exciting ones. So Idan Minerals is a European brand. However, they do ship to the US, they do ship to Australia, they do ship to United Kingdom, and I think also to a couple of other countries. I'm not sure, but just check their website. Their products are made in Sweden and partially in Italy. So everything is made in the EU as well. Now I actually stumbled upon this brand on Instagram, but a couple of subscribers asked me to actually review this brand as well on my channel. So I'm really, really excited to be doing that for you guys today. And also one of my subscribers very kindly sent me some really cool products. She sent me two products that I will include in the video, of course, but I just want to say thank you so, so much for sending me two of these products. I really, really do appreciate that so, so much. And also the brand actually did send me a couple of other products. They were gifted to me with orders. So this video, of course, is not sponsored or anything. You always get my honest opinion, but I will point out the products that I received for free. So Idan Minerals is actually a brand very much renowned for their highly purified minerals and their hypoallergenic makeup. Personally, I really like the formulation of this makeup. Their products are actually formulated with great ingredients. I really appreciate the fact that most of these products are pretty oil-free in general, fragrance-free, great for sensitive skin and well formulated. Another thing that I truly enjoy about this brand is the fact that this brand is actually pretty affordable in the great scheme of clean beauty. I do think this brand has some great price points and in general these products are really fantastic and I've been truly enjoying them. I've been actually trying them out for about six months now so I can actually give you a solid review on these products because I've also been using them quite a lot. I've been playing around with them quite frequently and honestly some of these base products are just mind-blowing. And Idan Minerals actually does have a pretty cool section on their website called Sustainable Beauty. They also do have a recycling guide and that's really cool. Also this brand is almost vegan, almost not a hundred percent, but on their website you can actually click on something called Vegan Beauty. I think it's in the top menu actually. When you click on that section it will show you all the products that are completely vegan. Also you guys if you do enjoy clean beauty please don't forget before you're leaving today to subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate that. You can also ring the bell so you stay notified about all of my upcoming videos and if you do enjoy this video at any point please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up that would be very much appreciated as well. But okay, you guys, I feel like we now know a little bit more about this brand. So let's actually jump straight into the review and let's start with the very first product. So let's actually start off with a skincare product. This is the Rich Moisture Serum and this retails for $26. Now this is a product that was gifted to me by the brand. Let's just quickly see what they're saying on the website about this product. So lock in moisture and restore the skin with this anti-aging serum. The nourishing formula is ideal for those with normal or dry skin, especially those looking to combat fine lines and wrinkles. This is 100% vegan, dermatologist tested, fragrance free, which I really love, enriched with vitamin E and chia oil, ideal for all skin types. Um, otherwise, this formula looks really nice. I love the fact that uh, they actually included niacinamide in this product. So it's a water-based serum followed by glycerin, niacinamide. Then we have a couple of olive-derived ingredients. The only thing is they do use phenoxyethanol in their skincare and they also use dimethicone. So if you don't like both of these ingredients, most of their products will contain dimethicone or phenoxyethanol. Not every product, but their skincare, some of them does contain that ingredient. I can't really give you a really in-depth review because I haven't really tried out this product uh, long enough to really, you know, form a solid opinion on it. But I've used it around two times so far and I've really enjoyed it. It is actually really nice. The formula is really nice as well. 
and it really does moisturize your skin. So this serum feels actually really, really soft. It sinks into your skin really quickly as well. It feels like a very lightweight gel cream sort of hybrid almost. I will promise you guys, I will definitely review this product in further depth when I introduce skincare to my channel, which is going to be soon. So you'll definitely hear from this product again and from the next product, which is another skincare product. And that one as well, I haven't gotten around to try it out to its full extent. So this is the moisturizing eye cream and this retails for $19.20. So this eye cream, honestly, the packaging here is so funny. It feels like this is an airless pump, so you gotta give it a couple of pumps before the product actually comes out. So I've tried this eye cream out once before and it's actually super soft, really nice. But I really can't remember if I liked the effect of it that much. But I will try this again and give you an update in a skincare video. But yeah, let's actually dive into the makeup now. Let's dive into all of these products that I've been using out for quite a long time. So let's actually start with their concealer. So this is their duo concealer and this retails for $24. So another thing, Idon's packaging is always so, so cute and so stunning. With, I don't know, this must be some artist. I can't really read what it says on here. Patizia Gucci, Patizia Gucci or somebody. But her artwork is on all of the makeup. Now, when you open it up, you're gonna have a duo pan. It's a duo concealer. So you're gonna have two different shades. So I have the shade 020 Strand Gillen, which is their lightest shade, their fairest shade. They have four duo pans in total. So actually they have eight concealer shades with this formula. So this is 100% vegan and free from cyclic silicones, talc, perfume, nanoparticles and bismuth. So two-in-one concealer with a lighter and darker shade in the same package, very high coverage, long lasting. The creamy formula blends perfectly into the skin while the gentle ingredients of jojoba oil and vitamin E have a nourishing and protective effect on the skin. The highly purified minerals create a beautiful result for all skin types even for the most sensitive skin. So I've got to agree, I have really been loving this particular concealer by them. This is insanely beautiful. This is kind of a formula that I like. This has a really good amount of coverage. You're getting two shades, so you can do spot concealing and you can do brightening um, if needed to, you know. And so I actually applied this with my fingers onto some discolorations of some healing mask need that I actually have and I just tap this on with my fingers the coverage is really really beautiful I sometimes also just like to take the sponge directly into the concealer pan and just apply it with the sponge or blend it out even a little bit further with the sponge into the skin so I actually spot concealed on one side and I've got to say this was actually a really stunning result. I'm so happy with this concealer. I mean, this looks pretty. After I spot concealed, I also applied this lighter shade, the fairer shade. I applied that on my under eye as an under eye concealer. And I've got to say, this stuff is amazing for your under eye. This does not crease. It's not too emollient. This formula is waxy enough, but not too waxy. It's still, I mean, it's stiff enough, you know, let's say stiff. It's stiff enough that you can actually have this formula applied with a lot of pigment but blend it out effortlessly. It's because this formula is a little bit stiffer already, it won't have an excessive dry down. So the pigment won't necessarily, you know, transfer into your fine lines as quickly as it would with a more emollient formula. But I feel like it's not the most luminous or shiny concealer I've ever used. And in that sense, it's actually a really nice finish. I have been loving this concealer. So let's actually move on to a product that uh, I just really did not enjoy. Um, this is actually another concealer. They do have three different concealers. They also have an under eye concealer that I actually don't own and I don't have that one, but they have another concealer and that one, you guys, it's the only product, actually the only product by this brand 
that I completely dislike. So this is the Clip Concealer and this retails for $24. This also comes in only two shades and that shade was so yellow. So this Clip Concealer from the packaging to the product, to the finished product was a disaster. I don't know if you can see this already. I mean, this was just such a runny, liquidy mess. My biggest problem was the droopiness and then look, it's just, such a liquidy runny formula i don't understand this i mean it's so oily and liquidy and has zero coverage i don't know it's just the weirdest product it feels like you're literally just putting oil on to your skin i mean this doesn't cover anything it almost feels like a tinted moisturizer and yeah this is another thing that happened it's pilling so I don't know. I just really didn't enjoy this product. There's nothing good I can say about this. But honestly, it's the only product of, out of all of these products that failed me. So let's actually move on to some more goodness by this brand because there's a lot of more goodness coming up. Let's actually talk about one of their products that really blew my mind away and that I truly like and that I've been reaching for so so much. So this is their Nordic Veal Liquid Mineral Foundation and this retails for $26.40. So let's actually talk about this foundation and this is a foundation where I really had zero expectations and I've been really enjoying it and yeah so this is it. It comes in this beautiful glass packaging I have to say the packaging on this is really stunning. Let's actually see what they're saying on the website about this foundation. So the Nordic Veal Foundation is a high covering liquid foundation with a long lasting effect. With Nordic Veal you achieve a flawless and silky result that lasts all day. Nordic Veal Foundation does not clog the pores and lets the skin breathe. A natural foundation that lays lightly and weightlessly on the skin without weighing down. Does not dry out the skin, does not clog the pores. A liquid foundation that is therefore suitable for both dry and sensitive skin, as well as oily and acne prone skin. It's enriched with caring apple seed oil and moisturizing glycerin. A foundation that gives you the perfect porcelain skin, coverage 5 out of 5 vegan foundation and completely cruelty free. So on the website it actually says you're getting 30 milliliter and on the bottle it says 26 milliliters. Um, 0.88 fluid ounces, just keep that in mind, maybe they made a mistake on their website. So in terms of shade range, this foundation, the Nordic Veal one, comes in nine different shades. I do have the shade Freya 306. So what I really like is that I actually have a foundation shade guide and that shade guide is done pretty pretty well. The shade Freya is actually described as a light to medium shade with a warm undertone. Now I actually had the neutral shade at first. I had the shade light medium Disa which is a neutral undertone. Um, I'm going to show you the swatches how they compared. The shade Disa was definitely too deep for me actually. It was just one shade too deep. I knew exactly I needed something different. I decided to pick up the shade Freya even though it's a warm undertone. It was just the other option, the only other option I had. It's literally as much yellow as I can bear without it being too yellow, you know. It's okay. It works. If I look at myself, I don't feel like I'm wearing something that looks too yellow in undertone, uh, too warm basically. Anyway, let's talk about the application, what you can actually achieve with this foundation. So I really love to apply just a little bit by little because the coverage on this is just so damn good. I love applying this with a sponge. Now I will say it's not the fastest application. I don't know why, but I always take a little bit more time to really seamlessly blend this foundation in. I feel like it's because it has such a high amount of pigment, such a high amount of coverage, that it just takes me a little bit longer to really make sure that everything looks seamless. So you can see how well this is covering on one side where I applied it and on the other side where there is zero product. I mean, it is an amazing amount of coverage. If you're looking for a good medium to, I would say, full coverage foundation, this is really worth a try. Also, you really don't need that much product. I would say just start slowly and then you can build it up. But usually I don't really need to do a second layer of product with this foundation. 
and that says quite a lot because usually I do go over with a second layer and this time around when I use this foundation I only do one layer and one layer is enough with this. I will say although this is more described as a matte foundation I don't think this is matte in the way that it would look cakey or anything. Really what this is is a satin finish. This is the perfect satin finish where it kind of doesn't look greasy but it's still luminous. It still gives you some illuminating sort of nourished well moisturized uh, vibes you know it's nothing like a cake face i mean this is really not dewy it doesn't feel oily it doesn't feel greasy i feel like i still need to powder it down just because it's too radiant for my liking i just wish they had a little bit uh, more of a shade selection so i could get more of a neutral undertone with a light medium shade otherwise this foundation is just it's excellent, you know. It takes a little bit longer to apply and to blend out, but I love it. And every time I wear this, I just feel like my skin looks incredible. In terms of wear time, it is actually long wearing. I have this on my face sometimes for six to eight hours without any problem. The only thing I will say is that my T-zone does get a little bit oilier. I do have combination skin. So whenever that gets a little bit oilier, I do have to touch it up with some powder and then it's fine again. However, the coverage is not uh, dissipating or anything. It's not fading. The coverage is kind of always there and that's what I like about this. It does have a good amount of longevity and yeah, I really do appreciate that. Also, this foundation does not really sit on your skin, you know. It's not that feeling, that really heavy feeling that you have when sometimes something more moisturizing goes on. Especially also because I don't need much product to actually achieve the coverage that I like. So honestly, this is a real star of the line. I think this is an amazing foundation. So let's actually move on to the next category where I feel like I done really does shine, which is their powders. So I have the loose setting powder Tora and this retails for $22. I think this powder is actually an online exclusive, so you can only purchase it online. Actually, I never seen this in stores. I think in Sweden, this brand is actually exclusively sold at pharmacies. I've never seen them in my pharmacy, but I'm not in Sweden. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to pick their stuff up from the website anyway, but I just wanted to have pointed that out that this product is only available online. The transparent fixing powder is suitable for all skin types and skin tones for those who want to achieve an even and durable result of their makeup. So this is a vegan setting powder, only has four ingredients of highly purified minerals, suitable for sensitive, dry, oily and acne prone skin because the setting powder allows the skin to breathe uh, and it doesn't clog pores. So you can also use this uh, for the baking method to fix your concealer and uh, it's perfume free, nine grams of product. So this is actually a mica based powder now I will say I never bake my under eye, like I never do that. But because it was pointed out on their website, I was really curious and I've tried it out. So I actually baked my under eye with this and you guys, I don't know. I don't know if I will do it again, but I did it once and it's amazing. <laughs> and I'm saying that just because I am scared that I'm gonna do this all the time and put a lot of powder under my eye and actually a lot of people do advise against baking, which I completely understand. I never bake. I always just dust a little bit of powder to just set the makeup on my under eye especially. But with this powder, I don't know. This powder is some bloody magic. So I, when I dust the bake away, I was just like, what is going on? This looks so blurred, so flawless, so amazing. I don't know if it's a combination of their concealer with this, but it just worked wonders. This powder, I really honestly love it. I've been reaching for this quite a lot as well. It's an amazing setting powder. I really, really like it. It's not overly mattifying, although it's a little bit more on the mattifying side. Although the base is mica, I feel like this powder really has some great potential to also control oils a little bit more than normal mica based powders do. So I would say it's a little bit more mattifying and that's why I like it because I do have this combination skin 
And I also like it because it just looks so flawless. It really does set my makeup and I just really, really have enjoyed this powder. It makes my skin look super pretty. The only downside about this powder is, for once, the packaging. I mean, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. And I love the fact that this is like this square kind of powder. I rarely see those. They're always round. I basically struggled so much to get this powder out of its packaging because these holes are just too small. They're just too small. I really have to hammer with the handle of a makeup brush onto the bottom of this uh, product so that a little bit would come out and it's kind of annoying i've got to say it really annoys me because this product is so good i just want to get it out of the packaging and it just does not want to come out but that's the only downside okay so those were the base products let's move on to some of their complexion products so let's actually start off with their bronzer so this is their mineral bronzer and this retails for 24 dollars now you can get this in two shades i do have the shade summer dream 621 this is their matte bronzer they also have an illuminating bronzer but i feel like that bronzer looks very peachy and this color o m g is this beautiful this bronzer i freaking love this bronzer this bronzer is so amazing so this has a really beautiful neutral undertone i always find it really difficult to find a bronzer with a neutral undertone but this bronzer definitely has that and it has this beautiful mid pigmentation so you don't have to be afraid to go in a little bit with the powder first off it's gonna blend out like a dream it's not gonna be patchy it literally feels so smooth the finish is absolutely pretty and yeah, it just goes on like a dream. You can actually build this up. And this shade is just one of my favorite bronzers, in all honesty. This is very special to me, and I just really love this bronzer. Really enjoy it. And the next product, I really enjoy that one too. So this is their Mineral Blush, and this retails for $24 as well. So they actually have five shades when it comes to their blush shades. I have this in the shade Half Torn 021. This is also a vegan blush. Uh, the bronzer was vegan as well. I really love this shade. This shade is like more like a pinky peach, but just such a pretty skin tone. I just feel like it is a perfect peach. Sometimes peach pulls a little bit too orange, but this is more like a pinky peach, but very soft, very pastel, not over the top pigmented, Blends out like a dream, looks really stunning. I really get summer spring vibes from this and I really have enjoyed this blush. Now they also sent me, they actually gifted me this blush and this is the shade, yeah, this is the shade Lingon and this is a loose powder. However, I wasn't able to find this anywhere on their website. So also I didn't find the shade in their pressed formula. So I don't know, maybe this is a discontinued item and they just gave it away for free with an order. But I put this sometimes on my cheeks and this actually works really, really well though with this other shade. So I used this today on the apples of my cheek just to intensify the blush a little bit. I mean, I really like their blushes. They're really pretty and they have some really cool other shades as well. So let's actually move on to the highlighter. Now they don't really have a highlighter or like a highlighting product that is marketed as such, but they actually do have an eyeshadow and it's a single eyeshadow pan, but it can be used as a highlighter. So this is their single eyeshadow in the shade Friel Sipper, and this retails for $12. So this is the single eyeshadow, the shade Friel Sipper 107. And this was actually gifted to me by one of my beautiful subscribers. So thank you so, so much, gorgeous. You know who you are. So thank you so much for gifting this to me. Oh my gosh, guys. I freaking love this highlighter. Talking about an amazing powder highlighter. I mean, not just as an eyeshadow, but this on my cheekbones. I mean, this is just absolutely gorgeous. So reflective. Uh, it doesn't look glittery. Just looks like wet reflectiveness. And that's something I really love. A good powder highlighter. The shade here is also very unique. It feels like one of the most natural highlighters I have that do still give you a good punch of reflectiveness. 
And I honestly, I, I, I mean, I, I'm obsessed with this tiny guy and it's been used quite and loved quite a lot since I got it. I also freaking love this on the tip of my nose. I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite highlighters to do my nose with. It is just so smooth. It's absolutely stunning. So let's move away from the face. We are all done with the face product. So let's actually move on to the next category. Let's move on to the eyes. So this is the perfect eyebrows gel and this retails for $16. So I truly, truly love this product. This is a tinted eyebrow gel. I always need to fill in my eyebrows, especially around here and around there. I just love filling them in. So usually, I really love a tinted eyebrow gel and this is no exception. However, this only comes in three shades. This comes in dark, medium and light. So first off, I started out with the dark one. This is way too dark for me. So this dark one ain't for me. So I usually end up with the medium shade which was actually gifted to me by my subscriber as well. So thanks again for giving me this shade. She thought, because I told her that that one was way too dark, she thought the medium one would be perfect for me. It kind of pulls pretty dark on my eyebrows, you know? And then I just decided to pick up the light one. And the light one doesn't work at all for me. So I need something in the middle. So what I do is actually I end up using both of these shades, which is a little bit pointless, but you know, if this is a little bit too dark for me, I go over a little bit with this lighter shade. What a disappointment in terms of shades. So in case you find your perfect shade, this is really a product I would recommend. So let's move on to the next eye product that I have. And this one is, and this is an eyeshadow palette. So this is their eyeshadow palette in Lavendel 407. And this retails for $19.20. So they have this eyeshadow palette in five different colorways and I was initially very reluctant to actually purchasing an eyeshadow palette because I've got a massive collection and if I see these quads I'm just very not excited you know for me it's always like a palette if I see like four colors it's usually and I'm so happy that I gave this product a chance because this formula blew me away. This is one of the products, the hero products, I would say. So these eyeshadow palettes, as underwhelming as they may seem online, let me tell you, they're so stunning. Especially this colorway. I just thought this was very unique. Beautifully sort of neutral, cool toned shades. I use all four of these shades in one look. We've got these two matte shades. I mean, these two shades combined in my outer crease. I just literally smoked them out and I love them. This beautiful lavender lilac shade, this shimmery shade. This is a shade I was looking for forever. I just couldn't find it. It's a little bit more iridescent too. And I have this on my lids today. I just, I mean, I love it. It is absolutely stunning. You can apply this with a brush. You can also apply this with your fingers. And yeah, and then this other shade is so pretty too. I also use the single eyeshadow the highlighter in my inner corner and a little bit on my lower lash line. I just think it's so hard for me to find more of a plummy, mauvey, cool toned sort of eyeshadow color that doesn't make me look super ill. This is honestly one of my favorite eyeshadow formula I've ever tried. And I cannot believe it because they don't look like anything. They don't look like this amazing product but they are and I, I always just love my eyes when I use this eyeshadow palette really great product that I could only recommend okay so let's move on to the next category let's move on to the mascaras so in terms of mascara I mean if there is one brand where you can just find any sort of mascara it's this one they have 10 mascaras 10 different types of mascaras I mean Believe me, I was confused as well. I didn't know which one to get. I actually have two of them mascaras. One I purchased and the other one was sent to me by the brand. So this is their Silver Lengthening and Separation Mascara and this retails for $19.20. And this is the Magna Instant Volume and Lengthening Mascara and this retails for $20.80. I definitely do have a favorite out of these two. Now this one, the silver one, this one was sent to me. This also was sent to me in a brown shade, which was interesting. 
and then I bought the Magna lengthening one. Now, let me tell you out of these two, my favorite one is this, just because it does give me a little bit more drama. This one is a little bit more everyday. It's a good mascara, but I kind of prefer this one though. This one makes my eyelashes more dramatic and I always prefer dramatic. Um, there's nothing wrong with this one at all. Um, I actually have footage where I apply both of these. So on my left side, I'm wearing the silver one. And on my right side, I'm wearing the Magna Lengthening one. So, I mean, one of the main differences is going to be the brush applicator. So this is very slim, the silver one. This has silicone bristles. And the Magna one uh, has fiber bristles. I think that's the main difference. But the fiber bristles on the Magna one are very short as well. You know, the one thing I really like about this Magna is when I apply this, I don't know what it is, but it just feels like it has a slight, a very slight sort of tilt in it. You can really grab every tiny hair with this brush. I really, really enjoy this. It doesn't really take long to apply it. I love that. You know, I don't like when you have to do coats and coats and coats. Sometimes I just need a mascara to do what it should do in a really short amount of time. And this really does perform. This doesn't smudge. It's not going to get dry. It's just a little bit more. When you apply it at first, you may think it might be clumpy. But when, once you brush that out, it's gone completely and it's not clumpy at all. It's not going to glue your lashes together. So in that sense, this is definitely instant how it says instant volume. It's instant, the effect. And that's what I really appreciate. The wear time on this is really good. This won't get dry. It won't flake off. Um, it won't give you raccoon eyes. It's not a smudgy formula. It's actually a pretty bulletproof formula. I really enjoy this. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I, f I feel like my uh, eyelashes look pretty well and pretty put together. So yeah, I honestly have enjoyed this mascara quite a lot. You guys, you know what? I would be really, really curious to actually try out that waterproof mascara because I feel like in Clean Beauty, there's a huge lack of waterproof mascaras and they actually do have one. So I might give that one a try and let you know how it is because that would be another product by this brand that I'd be really curious to try out. Also because so far I really enjoyed their mascaras. Okay, so let's move on to the very last step. Let's move on to the lip products. Now when it comes to their lipsticks, they actually have two different formulas. They have a normal cream lipstick and they have a matte lipstick. Now you guys, I will always go with the matte one. So this is their matte lipstick and this retails for $19.20. Now I actually have this in two shades. They actually have eight shades in total. One shade that I bought and one shade that was gifted to me. So the shade 104, the shade Curse Bear, is the shade that was gifted to me, which is this really kind of intense pink. Oh, it's like a really in-your-face pink. I basically applied this to demo it because I would never in my entire life pick out a color like this. I mean, the brand gifted this to me and I'm super, super grateful about that, but they might not know what I like and what I don't like. Um, so they thought, you know, we're just going to give her pink lipstick, pink. Everyone loves pink. Not this girl. I really don't. I really don't like pink on my lips. So the shade that I bought for myself before they gifted this one to me, uh, is the shade Crusper. And oh my god, this is such a beautiful new brown. Exactly what I love. This lipstick is really pretty. It's a true brown. It looks like chocolate on your lips. It is absolutely stunning. Really nice new brown. Exactly the shade that I like. And what I really love about these lipsticks is the fact that although they have a matte finish, they are very nourishing and very hydrating. They don't move around on your lips. They have an amazing pigment payoff. So once you lay this color down, it's there to stay. They're really, really pretty. I honestly freaking love this formula, but this was the only brown shade that they had in their selection. So I'm not planning on picking up more of them because there was no other shade that I truly like. 
Okay, so this is actually 100% vegan as well. So actually on the website, they are saying it has a velvet finish, which is so true. Let's actually move on to the last product that I have for you guys today, which is their lip gloss. So this is their lip gloss in the shade Astrid, and this retails for $14.40. So I picked up the shade Astrid, and it's this beautiful, unique, iridescent sort of gloss. I mean... I don't have any lip gloss in that shade. This is also the shade that I'm wearing today on my lips and it is so, so unique. It is a really lovely lip gloss. So they actually have 12 different colors with this formula. I would love to pick up that shade Josephine and that shade Ronya. And I just think this works perfectly with the eyeshadow as well. I will say this is not the most long lasting lip gloss in the world so you can be happy if this is gonna last three hours and then it's basically gone if you're eating or if you're drinking you might want to reapply this you want to carry this with you in your bag it's not a lip gloss that's going to be on your lips forever but i don't know many lip glosses that actually do that also this lip gloss is non-sticky it doesn't feel like completely cushiony or pillowy on the lips it's very nourishing on your lips though like it does feel like it it nourishes your lips it doesn't feel like one of these lip glosses that is going to dry out your lips later on this does feel extremely nourishing and hydrating hey you guys that was it those are all the products that i have by i done i'll definitely keep you updated on these skincare products but all in all you guys this is a really great line a really great makeup line also all of these ingredients the products really worked so well on my skin you know they didn't irritate my skin and they just performed so so well now you guys i am very curious to know if you have tried out this brand at all or if not if this is the first time you heard of this brand what would you want to try out let me know in the comments down below that would be very much appreciated and also, if you did enjoy this review, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also, before you leaving today's video, if you do enjoy these reviews, I would be really, really happy to have you join the Clean Beauty family on here, basically. You just have to hit that subscribe button before you're leaving. And you can also ring the bell to stay notified about my upcoming content i shall be seeing you on here very soon with the next video so please take care thank you so much for watching bye bye